Gretchen here with another glow review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ella Dane diaper backpack. This is actually her third edition of these diaper bags. The first edition she just sold on Etsy and the second one she sold on Amazon. Then she came out with a Kickstarter this year to release her third version. And I've heard this one is the nicest of the three. I didn't own the other two so I'm not sure but I jumped on that Kickstarter because it was a great price and that was in July, I think, that I did that. It finally came today. Today is the 12th of October. So, long awaited. It looks great. It's really good quality. I'll go over some of the features and really quickly show you how I have it packed and link everything that I have below in the description. And here we go. All right, so on the front of the bag, there's the Ella Dane logo. There's this nice zipper pocket. I think it's a really nice touch that they put these two tabs here so that as you're opening it this way, you can pull against the tab. Same with this. Although you don't really need to because it's got a very smooth zipper. This is, by the way, vegan leather, and this is in the color caramel, I believe. If it's a different color, I will link it in the corner there. In this front pocket, I just have a wide pouch mini with some meat cheeks. I've got my glow pen. And that is everything that I have in that front zip pocket. It's a pretty good size, comes from here to here, and it goes down to about there. Then there are two magnetized front pockets. The magnets are on the side, and they have a pretty nice closure. They grab on real quick. And here I have the Honest Company hand sanitizer spray, my perfectly posh hand cream, and that's everything I have in that front pocket. This one I have my business cards, my lip gloss, my chapstick, and Altoids tin with gum. This is the mini Altoids tin. Then if you go to the side, it has bottle pockets on both sides. On this bottle pocket, I just have my 17 ounce swell bottle and these are I don't believe they're insulated pockets. They don't feel like they're insulated, but I will double check that and put it below. On this side, I just have one of my girls' Tommy Tippy bottles with a formula pod inside. These are really great because you can fill the formula pod up. It holds up to four scoops and then put the desired amount of water and the right temperature and take it to go so that when you're ready, you can just Drop the pot in, shake it, and go. On the back, there is this nice zippered pocket. Again, really nice quality zippers in this bag. I just have my iPhone 8 in here. This is a regular, but it would definitely fit a plus. It goes all the way to here, and it's that wide. There's also a large pocket on the back here. It is magnetized, and in this, I just have my kids' play pack holder. and is on the iPhone that I usually keep in here. On the inside, there's just crayons in the slip pocket. You can fit taller pencils or crayons back here. This is a boogie board, and then I've got some play packs here, as well as the stickers that came in the play pack in the back pocket. But you can also unhook these backpack straps and just slide them into here if you don't want to use it backpack style and it's pretty much gone and out of the way. So you can do that. These are seat belt straps. They're very easily adjustable. They feel really nice and smooth when you adjust them. And then this is a pretty good size pocket as well. It goes all the way to the ends of the bag and all the way to the very bottom. It has a very nice grab handle on it. There's nice gold hardware that lets it fall all the way to the back or all the way to the front because of the hardware. It's got a nice rolled vegan leather here and it's nice and cushy feeling. Then there's two D-rings on the side. Um, it is a little bit different with these D-rings because they're not centered. There's one on the back, one on the front. It comes with an included tassel that if you don't like, you can snap off or you can put it back on. And then it does come with an included messenger strap, which I have here that you can hook to these two D-rings and wear it messenger style if you'd like. It also came with some stroller clips. These are really nice because you can attach them to your stroller this way. 
and then leave them attached, which is what I do because I don't like to carry them in my bag. So you can just attach it with the included stroller straps. And then I will move the camera up so that we can go to the inside of the bag. Okay, hopefully this is a good angle for you guys. So it's got two really nice zippers here. They're very smooth. Um, it has little corners here, which seem to be nice because if you wanna just come to the corners and open that way, you can, or it goes down halfway down the bag to where the bottle pockets are. Go ahead and just turn this open and show you how I have it packed up. So right here, kind of in the center of the bag, I have a Logan and Lenora clutch. And in this, I just have a Logan and Lenora simple change pad, a wipe pouch 30, bum rash cream, garbage bags, and hand sanitizer, as well as four diapers. This is great because it's PUL lined, so it can be a wet bag on the inside if you need it to be. In this back mesh slip pocket, it's elasticized at the top. Uh, it just kind of hangs open a little bit. This I have a blender bottle go stack. I just have some Ritz crackers, cereal puffs, and some other little Cheeto puffs. I also have a Logan and Lenora petite pouch in here, and it is also PUL lined, so you can put sandwiches in here, anything, and you can just clean it out from the inside. I have two cheddar rice cakes, four cookies, two peanut butter packets, a spoon to scoop the peanut butter out with, as well as three fruit snacks. That is all I have in this back slip pocket. In this back zipper pocket, it goes almost the length of the bag and it goes down to about here. So it's a pretty good size pocket. I have my coin purse by Jujubee in the dot, dot, dot print. I like the gray against this gray lining. It looks really good. And then in here I have a pill case I got on Amazon. This is great because I had two transplants and have to keep anti-rejection meds with me. So if I'm out and about, I don't have to worry that I didn't remember to pack my meds. It just opens up two different spots and you can put different kind of pills in these separators. It's watertight and won't spill open in your purse. So I really love this item. Other items in the coin purse are three band-aids, two antiseptic wipes, travel scissors, mini posh healer stick, nail clippers, and the pill case. I've also got some little bribery suckers in case I need to because I have a two and a half year old so I generally need them. I've got my three pacifiers in here for my three children that I'm packing for. I have 11 month old twin girls and a two and a half year old boy. I also have a 10 year old son, but I don't need to pack any of his stuff in here. Then on these two front slip pockets here, these are elasticized and they're the same material as the rest of the lining. This is a medium set piece by Jujubee in the Super Toki print. In here, I have toys for my two and a half year old son, Magformers, Fidget Cube, Rio Toys, Nemo Toys, and a toy car. And that's all I have in that pocket. In the next pocket, it's the same size and elasticized. This one I have medium set piece in the Rainbow Dreams by Jujubee. This has toys for my twin 11 month girls, two teething necklaces, and two rattles. I also have their rice rusk teething crackers, three packages in a Medi Buddy case. I also have a small set piece by Jujubee, and this is also in the Rainbow Dreams print. In here I have two Be Neat bibs for my twin girls and a silicone sippy lid for my two and a half year old son. That's everything I have in those two slip pockets. Um, on the inside I have this just sitting in the bottom. This is a small set piece by Jujubee in the Imperial Princess. This just has a kickstand for my phone, earbuds, power bank, and charging cord. Uh, there are two side pockets here. Uh, this one I have my second bottle for my daughter, same Tommy Tippy with the formula pod on the inside. This one, it is insulated. Um, in this one, I decided to put, have these two baby food pouches for my girls. These are bigger than regular applesauce pouches. It fit both of them in there, no problem. I could probably fit another one, possibly two. And this, again, like I said, it is insulated and it zips up on the inside of the bag, like so. And that's all that I have in the pockets. This is a nice peelish in the vegan leather. 
and on here I have my keys. <laughs> so that is everything that I have inside the bag. I'll do a quick on the body shot for you so you can see how it looks on and show you the various ways you can wear it, which are three ways. There is messenger style, backpack, and crossbody.